Hey guys, welcome back. Now I'm going to prepare a favorite mouth-watering chicken 65, which is quite popular in Madras, now called Chennai. And there are many theories as to how this dish got this name. One of the theories says that it was introduced in the year 1965 in a hotel in Chennai. This dish is served in most of the Indian restaurants. This can be had as a snack or by itself or as a side dish. Let's see how to do it. Come on in. I've got free range chicken Thai fillets. The reason I chose uh, Thai fillets is because this tastes really well for chicken 65. There you go. And I'm going to make it into maybe small cubes. I'm making them into medium sized cubes, not smaller ones. If I make it, if I just cut them into smaller cubes now, while it fries, it will become even more, way too smaller. Yeah, the chicken looks fresh. So, the measurements that I'm going to do now is for 400 grams of chicken fillets. Taking two spoons of chili powder. You can take Kashmiri chili powder or the normal chili powder. If you do the normal chili powder, you can add in food color. One and a half spoons of coriander powder. Just a quarter spoon of garam masala. Two spoons ginger garlic paste. Do not miss out to add ginger garlic paste. Because that is the only one which adds flavor to Chicken 65. One spoonful of fresh yogurt. And the reason I'm adding yogurt is for the chicken to be nice and moist and tender. Squeeze in two spoons of lemon juice, sprinkle in salt as required. Take in one large egg and just mix it up. Add in the beaten egg. Adding in one spoon of rice flour. If you do not have rice flour, you could add plain flour. And the reason I added rice flour is to make it crispier. Now, just give it a mix. You could add food color if you would like to, or leave it as is. I'm adding just a pinch of food color. This is optional, you could add um, food color if you want to or, or if you add Kashmiri chili powder that gives out a very good color to Chicken 65. Now add in the cubed chicken. Give it a nice mix. I'm going to set it aside for about two hours. The longer you leave it to marinate, the tastier it is and flavorful it is. After two hours, I'll be adding corn flour. Just cover it up and pop it in the fridge so it absorbs the spices really well. So after two hours of marination, I'm going to add two spoons of corn flour. The reason I'm adding corn flour toward the end is because that is the binding agent which will keep all the flavors intact. To the heated pan, I'm adding cooking oil. Pop in the chicken cubes into the oil and let it fry. Keep it on medium flame. So the chicken cooks really well on the inside and the outside. Do not dump it all at once because if you dump it all together at once, it will form a big lump and it will be difficult for you to separate it and difficult to cook as well. Flip the chicken cubes onto the other side. 
so it cooks on both the sides. I can feel it crispy on the outside. Let me toss it and see. Yeah, it's coming up really nice. And look at the color. It looks really bright red. Wow. You know what? When it comes to food, even the color matters. Flip it to the other side so it gets cooked on both the sides. Keep it on medium flame so it cooks well both on the outside as well as on the inside and it doesn't burn. Now it is ready, cooked on both the sides as well as on the inside. And time to take it off. Ooh, look at the color guys. And the coating, it is coated really well. Pop it in a bowl. Amazingly, super delicious. To garnish the chicken 65, I've taken three sliced green chilies, popping it in the same oil. Give it a quick fry, not much. And just pop it on chicken 65. I've got a few fresh curry leaves, pop in the oil as well. Give it a quick fry. I'm not gonna let it burn and change its color, but have it have it green. And now even the curry leaves have gone crispy now. Guys, now chicken 65 is ready. Let me taste it and see because it's irresistible. There you go. Mmm. Guys, it's super, super delicious. It's heavenly, guys. Absolutely soft. Juicy. And I can feel, you know, all the flavor in it. You want to know how it tastes? Do prepare it at home and see. See, it's quite easy. Leave your comments below and make sure if you like it, you subscribe and share it with your friends as well. Thanks, bye.